Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill, got another video for you today, and I know I am a bit late to the party with this one, but I did want to go through and highlight all the steps necessary and all the materials required to level up the OP belt for this Metal Part 2 episode. And that will require the Dark Gods Forge Mold. Uh, this drops off uh, Barbatos, which is the last boss of Into the Dark Multiverse. It can drop off regular or elite. Uh, and basically, similar to how it was in uh, the Justice League Dark episode, we level up via an artifact system. Uh, so there's no collections involved, which was the previous system, and now it involves catalysts. So the first three catalysts you'll need are the mark system. Now, unlike the previous Justice League Dark, there's no CR lockout on these. So as soon as the DLC drops, uh, and as soon as you have this proper CR to run this content, you can purchase these items. Uh, they're all going to be found on the protocol Android vendor, which would be just at the top here. And each one's going to be the diluted, which will be 50 Thanagarian marks. The concentrated will be 125. And the final one will be potent, which will cost 200 marks. So 375 marks altogether, which is the typical cost for a vendor collection. Uh, now it is uh, going to be the vendor catalyst. The other part you'll need is dark metal ingots. Uh, this is referred to as food or basically XP towards, as you can see, the experience of 400. So this is basically the XP that you need to be able to rank, rank up your artifact or the dark fold, fork mold. Uh, so if I go into it here and go to fortify, you're going to see that it requires XP to get rank up. And that XP are these dark metal ingots. Uh, these ones are found by completing daily missions from the reward boxes. Uh, they do drop quite commonly. Uh, you do need a lot. We'll go through and exactly show you what you'll need. Uh, but uh, they do drop off any of those reward daily missions. So just as long as you keep doing those daily missions and getting those reward boxes, you'll have a chance for them to drop. The other two catalysts that are required are monitored energy. These drop on the Batscape, which is the duo, and damage control, which is the four player alert. Uh, they're also available uh, for trade, so you'll find them on the broker, but they are quite expensive. On the US side, they're about 20 mil each, from anywhere from 15 to 20 mil each. Uh, I'm not sure, too sure about the EU side, but they can get very expensive. The other set you need is the World Forge Essence. This drops off the raids, so in the Phoenix Cannon and into the Dark Multiverse. So these are all the materials required to level up the belt. So let's go through and show each rank and show the exact number required because these, these are our extra. Uh, you will need 60, I know for sure, but uh, these, I have some extra ingots in uh, four gestions here. So let's go through and show each tier. Okay, so for milestone one of the Dark Gods Forge Mold, you'll need 20 Dark Metal ingots. Once you fortify that, you'll be able to use the Catalyst. So you need 10 Monitored Energies, one of the Diluted, which is the one that drops for 25 marks. Or no, that's sorry, that's 50 marks. Uh, and then two of the raid ones. And as you can see, it's 100% success chance. So I'm going to break through to the first rank. And there we have successfully broken through to rank one. Okay, so for rank two of the Dark Gods Forge Mold, you will need 12,000 XP, which is going to be 30 Dark Mineral Ingots. Once you have enough to fortify, You'll be able to use 20 Monitored Energies, 5 of the World Forge Essence, and then 1 of the Concentrated. This is the one for 125 marks off the vendor, and this will break through to rank 3. And once again, 100% success chance. Okay, so now we are on to the final rank. Okay, so we're on the final rank, rank 3 of the Dark Gods Forge Mold. This one will require 30 Modern Energies, 8 of the World's Forge Essence, and 1 of the Potent. This one is 200 marks on the vendor. And then we're also going to need 45 of the Dark Metal Ingots. So once we fortify, 100% chance we'll be able to break through to the final rank and not only get the OP Belt, but get the 3 Star Feet as well. So maximum rank achieved. Most likely we have to open the box here. So use the item. And there we go. There's the feet. And there's the OP belt. Item level 272. And these stats that it's being compared against is against the elite DPS waste. So as you can see, 500 mining increase, 257 prec increase. And obviously it's going to have Bit and Dom as well, and Power Health Defense, every other stat. But this is the comparison against the uh, DPS Waste of the Elite. 
of the Elite Waste is 257. And this one is 272. Which one equipped? It will raise your current CR to 296, which is the maximum combat rating. That's uh, a part of Metal Part 2. Okay, so the final material list is up on the screen here. So you need 95 of the Dark Metal Ingots, 15 of the World Forge Essence, 60 of the Monitor Energies, and 375 Thanagarian Marks to complete the OP belt. I also asked on my Discord if anyone could uh, spare some few Monitor Energies because that was quite the grind to get those. Uh, and uh, three individuals helped out, so I want to give a special thanks to them. So McSwifty contributed one of the Monitor Energies, Timecoff contributed one of the Monitor Energies, and Anonymous or Anon also contributed 10 of the modern energy. So thank you to those individuals that helped out uh, on this crust. And thanks for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Thank you, and have a great day.